we're going to do a whiteboard sublimation hack from Dollar Tree Whiteboards. I found these cute little whiteboards at the Dollar Tree. Um, they measured about four and a quarter inches by 5.75 inches. I wanted to put something very bright and vivid on these, so I found these stained glass flower garden designs in my Creative Fabrica All Access account. I like these stained glass images. The colors just really pop. I design using Microsoft Word, and I have some other videos on that that you can find on my YouTube channel. But the, a couple things that I wanted to show you here is that wrap and through icon. You need to wrap and through your images when you're using Microsoft Word so that you can move your images around on the page the way you want to. And the other thing I wanted to point out is that you can see by the other arrow that I've made these slightly bigger than the whiteboards. I have them at 5.8 inches high and 4.3 inches wide. And then I'm going to print these with my sublimation printer with sublimation ink on sublimation paper. When these are done printing, you're going to want to trim your images down. I'm using the Easy Press 2 for this, so I've got the temperature set at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to set it for 50 seconds, but this is a two step process. So for the first step, I'm not going to be using that 50 seconds, but now it's time to clean the whiteboard. Get it clean. You can either use alcohol or a coffee filter, but you want to make sure that there are n there is nothing on the whiteboard because it will show through. The trick to this sublimation hack is that you're going to need some lamination material. I'm using a lamination pouch. And so what I did is I opened up a pouch and I cut it in half and I am using the inside of the sheet. And that's the part that is going to go face down on the whiteboard. So the part that would normally be sticking together is going to be sticking to the whiteboard. So what you're going to do is you're going to trim that piece of lamination down and then press it for 385 degrees for seven seconds. And I used a Teflon sheet over the top when I press this. So after you have that laminate sheet secure, now you're going to add your image. So you're going to want to lay the whiteboard with the lamination sheet already attached to it on top of the image and then line it up so that your image is completely covered by the whiteboard and then use heat resistant tape. Now you're going to turn that over and you're going to lay it on your heat pad and then you're going to put protective paper over the top of this and you're going to press it at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 seconds using medium pressure. Here is that reveal after the 50 seconds of pressing. The colors are so bright and vivid. These both turned out very great for Dollar Tree items. These could be done for weddings, for graduations, putting pictures on, and anything actually. Table settings, just beautiful for a Dollar Tree hack. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day.